at uh, between 1,500 and 2,000 less fortunate people in Ottawa. We do this at uh, four community centres around town, city living, and uh, we provide them with a Christmas dinner with all the fixings, turkey, mashed potatoes, carrots, the whole bit. Um, and all the cooking is done by culinary students, students that go to the community centre, um, see what a difference it makes in, in people's lives at a time of year that can be very tough on people. To be honest with you, it might not make them better chefs, but it's definitely going to make them better people. It, it's a feel good, it's, it's a chance to give back to the community, a chance to give back to the less fortunate. The food is, uh, a lot of it's donated, um, and that which is not donated through Farm Boy is given to us at cost by Farm Boy. Uh, Rito Bakery helps out with, um, they give a lot of items. Costco is a big help to us. There's a number of different suppliers. Rogers TV lends us uh, their trucks to run the, uh, the food around. When people find out that Algonquin's involved, we get a lot of, it, it, it lends a lot of legitimacy to the programs. Uh, this year we worked with the Ottawa Breakfast Schools program. Um, and it allowed, you know, you're doing good work in the community, you're helping out, the students feel that they're hel helping out and it becomes a real project and, and meaningful for them. They care a lot about their community. Um, they, they're engaged in the community, they care about helping out. So if they have a project that um, is meaningful to them, is that it, look, it feels real world to them, there's consequence to the work, that if they do a, a good public service announcement and they can see 30,000 people went and watched their PSA, they know they're making a difference. Uh, we have to work hard to stay out of these, these silos that we get ourselves into. So having opportunities to network with other departments, uh, people that you might see in the hall but never had a chance to sit down and talk to and say, what do you do? Um, and it just gives us the opportunity for the light bulbs for us to go off, say, hey, there's a great chance for us to work together. Uh, and so those are always uh, great opportunities for us. Without Algonquin College and without our students and without the faculty that assists, um, there is no way at all that this job would get done. Um, it would be impossible. It's the facility that's key here and even more important, it's the students um, that are key to this whole operation. So oddly enough, I mean, it is funny, you know, the charities don't really understand uh, when they get picked, right? They're, many of them are excited uh, about the notion of, so, you know, we're going to have these students, they're going to be doing some fundraising for us, but what does that mean, right? Like, because many of them will say, you know, students are great, but like, what's it really going to do for us, right? Uh, I mean, I remember talking to this, the charity we picked this year, which is the Valerie's Flutter Foundation, and I think they were hoping for $2,000. Uh, I think they were hoping that we'd do something and, you know, maybe we'd raise a couple of thousand dollars, which is 2,000 more than they had. So from their perspective, that's a win. Um, and then we go, uh, and they, they, they came to the events. They were really, really great. They were really engaged. They were super positive. They came to all our events. And night after night, they would come up to me at the end, and they'd go, my God, your students are great. My God, your students are great. And they would, you know, they would say, thank you for this. And I said, don't thank me. Thank them. Like from their perspective, they see... Uh, and what I really think is great uh, is that they see that there is not a disengaged youth. It isn't. Uh, this isn't young people not caring. It's young people not knowing what to care about or how to, how to help, how to be directed to caring about the right things. Uh, we don't have a problem with young people in our country. They want to do so much and they have so much energy and so much passion and they just need a little bit of guidance. They need to be told that this is important. And when you do this thing, you will feel so much better.